Alrighty then. Hello you beautiful people from around the world. I am Orange Squash and today I bring you this. Jack and Dexter the Precursor Legacy for the PS4. You can only get this if you pre-ordered uh, if you pre-ordered Uncharted The Last Legacy. Uh, which, yeah, obviously. Anyway, we're going to be starting to play through this. It's one of my favourite like platformers of all time. And uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. And we're going to be doing this like 100% by the way, might I add. 100%. All orbs, power cells, scout flights, everything. So, if I miss something, you guys better let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to flip the fuck out. Anyway, we're going to start this game. I'm not see this loading screen of music anymore. And we're just going to get straight into it. So, hopefully, let's see what happens. Uh, new game. That's my other file for my 100% completion that didn't go too well. Alright then, let's start this. I'm gonna be quiet throughout cutscenes. I have spent my life searching for the answers that my father and my father's fathers failed to find. Who were the precursors? Why did they create the vast monoliths that litter our planet? How did they harness Eco, the life energy of the world? What was their purpose? And why did they vanish? I have asked the plants, but they do not remember. The plants have asked the rocks, but the rocks do not recall. Even the rocks do not recall. Every bone in my body tells me that the answers rest on the shoulders of a young boy. Oblivious to his destiny, uninterested in the search for truth, and rejecting of my guidance. And why would he want to listen to old Samus the Sage anyway? I'm only the master of Green Eco, one of the wisest men on the planet. <laughs> so it seems the answer begins not with careful research or sensible thinking. Nay, as with many of fate's mysteries, it begins with but a small act of disobedience. Hey, uh, Jack, old Green Stuff told us not to come here. Search for artifacts and eco. If the locals possess precursor items, you know what to do. Deal harshly with anybody who strays from the village. We will attack it in due time. What are we doing here anyway, Jack? This place gives me the creeps. Stupid precursor junk. Eek! What is that dark ooze? It sure don't look friendly. <gasps> the sage yaps on about the precursors that built this place all the time. Where did they go? Why did they build this crud? Now, I like precursor orbs and power cells as much as the next guy. But if you ask me, they must have been real losers. Wow! How did you do that? I think we're in trouble! If you didn't know that was a dick joke. <laughs> what in green tarnation do you two want? We, we, we was, they was, I, I was... Don't tell me. Instead of heeding my wisdom, 
The two of you went mucking around in the only place that I told you not to go. Misty Island. That's right. And then... And, Daxter, you finally took a much-needed bath, but in a bathtub filled with dark eco. Look, old man. Are you going to keep yapping? Or are you going to help me out of this mess? I'm going to keep yapping. Because in my professional opinion, the change is an improvement. And besides, I couldn't help you if I wanted to. What? There's only one person who has studied Dark Eco long enough to have a chance at returning you to your previous form. Karl Acheron, the Sage. But he lives far to the north. Far, far to the north. Nobody has spoken to him in ages. I would teleport you there, but I can't do that either. None of the three sages that maintain the other teleporter gates have seen fit to turn their ends on for quite a while. The only other way north is by foot through the Fire Canyon, but its volcanic soil is hot enough to melt precursor metal. You can't just walk through it. But you could fly over it if you had a zoomer equipped with a heat shield. I just happen to be working on such a thing at this very moment. All I would need is 20 power cells to give it enough energy to withstand the canyon's heat. Isn't that right, Daddy? Yes, Kira, that might work. But where are a boy and a half going to get 20 power cells? From the villagers. Most of them have a power cell or two stashed away somewhere. And even if they aren't willing to just give them away, greasing their palms with a few precursor orbs should do the trick. And I bet there are even more of them out in the wilds just waiting for some brave adventurer to find. Well, we've got the brave adventurer, at least. Brave adventurer? You two couldn't find your way out of the village without training. Before you do anything else, you better go through the warp gate and get some practice on Geyser Rock. Uh, we won't find any more of that dark, gooey eco stuff, will we? Because I'd hate to fall in again and turn into you. Get in there! Before I turn you both into ferns! Oh, I love this game. Alrighty then. I'll just get going. This device is a communicator. With it, my father and I can give you advice at any time during your quest. Alright, so I decided to play this game as it's one of my favorite platformers of all time and it deserves a lot more praise than what it what it has, basically. Uh da -da -da. That'll do. Perfect. Anyway, <coughs> sorry, just sorting out some uh, sound effects then, so it wouldn't like sound like that it's fucking blasting, and I won't be uh, silenced. So yeah, this game is one of my favourite platformers of all time. Reason being, well, it's just the best. It has. Floating egg-shaped things are precursor orbs. Collect enough of them, and some of the villagers will give you a power cell in exchange. Basically, it's uh, it's. The game's mechanics around moving are momentum based, so it's like you go faster downhill than you would going uphill, for example. So like, you know. This is a power cell, the most important precursor artifact you can find. You need to collect 20 of these so I can power the heat shield for your A-grab zoomer. Can I talk? Jesus Christ. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing 100% completion. AKA all the power cells, all the precursor orbs, all the scout flies, everything. Okay, whatever. So this Sometimes uh, you'll want to hit things with a greater force. To break one of these boxes, you should jump in the air and then dive down onto it, hands first. Hey, you found one of my scout flies. I sent seven of them to each area to look for power cells, but the lurkers must have captured them all. <coughs> there we go. So yeah, as I said, all scout flies, all precursor orbs, all power cells. Hope you guys enjoy and stick around for this series wow, as I love this game and I'm pretty sure a lot of you like it. I'll bet if you collect all seven <coughs> each as area, it's one of the best the classic games out there. First off, I'm gonna jump in here because these guys. Ah, oh, you prick me. That's blue eco. 
I've already picked the shit up for God's sake. Blue Eco allows you to run fast, break boxes, and even activate some precursor artifacts when you get near them. By the way, sorry guys if you can hear my jet engine of a PS4. It's it's an old PS4, no but I will be upgrading it come this Christmas. All these tutorials are only on only, only like five ten minutes into the freaking we'll get into the game. So stupid. By the way, sorry if you do like rustling there, that was just me adjusting my mic. Blue eco vent. More concentrated than the floating clusters. This vent will give you a full charge of blue eco, letting you use it for the maximum time. Well, it's not my mic per se, it's, it's basically uh, my headset. I got one year cup that works and the other doesn't. Luckily, my mic still does, but I don't know. Ah, shit! Ah. <laughs> oh boy, I almost shot myself then. Good work! The Blue Eco caused the door to open. With Blue Eco, you can breathe energy into all kinds of precursor artifacts that have laid dormant for years. <sighs> oh! oh god. I <laughs> should put myself on edge now. Oh fuck. I'm gonna do it in later stages of the game. Those little green balls of energy on the ground are a type of eco. Pick up fifty small green ecos or one big to increase green your health. to increase your health. Yes. <laughs> Newcomers of the series on the channel, welcome one and all. I don't know how long I'll be recording this, probably around once, 20 to half hour. 20 minutes to half hour. To yeah, I thought so. Alright, cool. All scout flights, all power cells, all precursors in the first area. We're already on our way. Hell yeah. Chop the bits. Here we go. Good training, boys. But that's nothing compared to the challenges that lie ahead. And ah, no problem. We got the moves, eh, Jack? We'd love to stay in chat, Big Green, but we're, uh, itching to get on with our adventures. Fine, fine. Adventure away, then. And while you're out adventuring, why don't you make yourself useful? My darn green eco-collectors are clogged up again. Head out to the far side of the beach and clear them out, why don't you? Follow the lamps. They'll take you right there. Now, all of you, Get out of here! Two seconds, have a quick drink. Oh, fuck it. Soaking wet. Anyway. Away we go to start the skip. You see what I mean by the momentum? Slower to go up, but faster to go down. We're not going to talk to many NPCs due to the fact I already know what to do and you guys don't want to see many cutscenes, just want to see gameplay, so, you know. Basically, our goal objective is to change Daxter back to human. So, we will need power cells to, in order to progress throughout the entirety of the game. Did you see the size of the bite that Lurker Shark took out of the fisherman's boat? We best stay way clear of them! I don't think we can tackle a creature that dag nasty. You think, Daxter? Really? You think? Shit, hold up. Hey! It looks like scout flies are always in red boxes. You think? Um. I know a few strats from speedrunning this game. I'm not going to use them in this because I. I don't feel. I need to do anything 
because I'm not speedrunning the game, I'm 100% completing it. I need to take my time. Alright, so our first area of order would be to go down here and to sort out these yaks, get a power cell easily, and yeah. Let's go! These yakos, as they're known as. In it. Go this one. There's the oracle right up there in the top. If you can see it. Yeah, same. I, I do the same thing. Whatever the fuck he meant. Alrighty then, come on, move! Andale! Let's go! There's three, two more. Out. Move. Let's go. Go. Move. Move your brown ass. Go. Hold on. Frick. Other way. Why that way? No, this way. That, that way. And you back the fuck up over there. We get two done in one hard. It's four. Move, you prick! Let's go! By the way, sorry if I bust your eardrums. As I said, Mike's a little bit. That lazy yeah. farmer owes us a power cell. Let's go talk to him. Yes, we will. Ah, well done, my boy. You actually got those flea bags back into the pen. Now I can sleep in peace. Take this power cell for your trouble. I think what I'll do for the first episodes, I'll do like probably around 40 to 50 minutes long. Because, well, we've... the cutscenes at the start took enough time. I just want to get into this game as quickly as possible. So, without further ado, we're going to jump up yonder. Wow! Check out that funky sculpture sitting on the rocks over there. Yep, I see it. We're gonna go talk to it. <laughs> By an inch. I almost like threw my heart on there and threw my stomach. Just, ooh. This must. Who awakens the oracle? This is the oracle. Wait. When He'll give us power cells. Within. From before time, I have watched and waited for the true hero to return. Present to me 120 precursor orbs for each power cell I contain. For each one of your eyes, right on. I have 60 at the moment. Now oh, fuck, I thought it would. Yeah, like this, this slight uh, movement things I will be like taking advantage of. Like, uh,. The swim thing you just saw towards the end. But basically, I just push the analog stick back and forth, back and forth as fast as possible. It uh, makes the swimming animation go a lot more faster. And you can swim faster in general. So, Actually, I'll do a bit if I can get a big enough stream. You see, you go a lot more faster than actually doing this. It's a lot more faster than doing that. Alright, so first area of the game, Forbidden Jungle. One of my favourite areas. Second being Snowy Mountain. Fuck you. And third being uh, probably Volcanic Crater. But uh, yeah, you know, this is my this is my third favourite area. I only have a, I only have three. We this entire game. To trade for a power cell. Let's get back and make the switch already. Yeah, no. By the way, if you time jumps correct in this game, you get a big boost like that. Bastard to time though, but it's, it's just a lot more easier if you just spam the fucking jump button. <laughs> Our first 
scout flight. Fuck. I'm now well done now. Straight down here. We'll be meeting the fishermen soon. And I want to get that over with as soon as possible because it's one of the nastiest fucking mini games this entire game. First, fuck! First being the boggy swamp mission, if you know what I'm on about. Ah! Fuck! Fish. Our fishman's down here. I don't. I. Fair play. What do you have in the basket? Nothing to talk about. Them monsters patrolling the ocean took a bite out of me fishing rig. Another goblin up me catch! No matter what I try, I can't seem to catch a single fish in this river. Woo! Maybe it's your breath. You think you can do better? Try scooping up river fish with a tiny net. I'll give you a power set. If you can catch 200 pounds of oh, them yep. rivers, Blank then I'll let you and Shrimp here use my speedboat to get to Misty Island. Hold your cut out, you want to try the challenge. Yep. And there are two types of good fish to catch. Two types of fish. One, One pound, pound fishies and five, five pound, pound fishies. fishies. <laughs> if you miss 20 pounds of good fish, then I'm gonna take me net back from you. There are poisonous eels in this river. Catch even a one of them boogers, and he'll poison the whole darn catch. Right, ready? I'm gonna do this in complete silence because I need to focus. So forgive me, guys, but I really need to focus. Tips. See? Here comes a big one! Steady, boy! Oh my gosh! Use my boat in the village dock whenever you like. Oh god! <laughs> I was holding my breath as well, like. Like, ah. Uh... Ah, <laughs> oh, shit, now. Like, before I did that, I only missed like about two fish, that was it. But I missed around like ten fish, and I was like panicking, and I was like, oh shit, no! <laughs> it's like fucking. I was, I was proper like panicking towards the end, but uh, oh well. All right, I need enough like blue eco. All right. Actually, these if I go up. Better if I took the bridge, I can just catch the eco drain, drop down, run back. Excuse me, the blue eco vent. Fuck. So now I can like power punch to get away from it like that. I 
going to act this, activate this real quick so it doesn't do it again. Got that. Actually, there's a super power so I can get quick enough. Get it! Not bad. Fuck you, Dexter. Fuck you, Fuck you. And everything you own. Right. I wonder. Ah! Shit. Scared myself. Huh? I scared myself. Like, Myself scaring me scared me more than the fucking snake. By the way, take a shot every time I say the word okay. Ah, oh, shit! Or if Zach jumps, aka me. That's my real name. Oh, fuck you. Uh, you can see it. Go like a, go like a like mark on it. Those tower doohickeys scattered all over the jungle must redirect the eco beam. Let's go fiddle with them. <laughs> Suck a dick! Right. Quick stats check. Uh, connect the eco beams. Actually, how many? 159. Uh, it's 1,088. Oh, all the horses. Do this now so I don't have to leave it. Line up the beam by pointing it at the next tower. Nice! Nice, nice, nice. Making progress. Hey! We can follow the beam to find the next tower. Fuck. I thought I could make it, but made. Oh, I didn't see that. Do time, Daxter. All in do fucking time. I fell! <laughs> oh, you prick! I hate myself now. I I proper hate myself. Nice. All right, you found all the scout flies in this area. 
bastard. Get in here! Take us down, cause reasons. Alrighty then. Yeah, so we got a precursor launcher here, but you aren't powered up with the blue stuff. So it ain't gonna help us! Yeah, but there's a boss fight my name written all over it. Anyway, I'm activating the blue vents, cause... Yeah. Get wow, nice. did you see that? Blue eco vents have been activated all over the world. I knew there was a way to turn them on. There must be places to turn on the other eco vents as well. <laughs> yeah, boy. Yeah, our first boss fight, I fucked up the intro to it. All we gotta do is just stand here. Never mind. Never mind! I done fucked up! And I can't see, I can't see Dexter. Never mind, I done fucked up. Here we go. Oh my god, are you serious? Many close calls, I. Hey, uh. You should get just hide up here so I don't jump anyway. Alright, come on, one more hit, he's done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ow, prick. Dead. For some reason this thing has orbs in it. Orbs. Yeah, we have one thing left on the list, and that is to connect the eco beams. Eco, eco. I died anyway. Well, uh, better you than me. Fuck you. Uh, 
with the eco beam that I saw earlier. Hello, Snake. There it is. Quickly connect this. Nice. Let's go to the next tower and reconnect the beam there. Out. Where did I see it? Almost done. We got like one more eco beam to connect after this and we are done with this area. Yes, we know you're happy. We know that everyone's happy here, apart from fucking Daxter. You got a higher jump from that, by the way. Last one, then we connect it up to something over by Sandal. Nope, that's no. Yeah, we got to run underneath. <laughs> oh, just by the tip, just the tip. We are done with the first level, well, second level, technically. And we're done! We are done, people, with this area. We should go tell that windbag of a mayor that he owes us big time for connecting the village energy beam! And we shall do that. We have 221. Cool. Next stop when we come back. Hey, let's go check out old fish breath speedboat at the dock. Yep, we will go to Misty Island soon, but for now we gotta deliver deliver the good news. Good news everyone! Oh what a wonderful sight! I thank you! Entire village will thank me. Uh, boys, you have restored power to the village and guaranteed my re-election. And for that, my boy, you earned a power cell. Yay. Swan dunk! And what a way to end our episode. So guys, if you if you enjoyed this episode and want more, leave a comment down below. Leave a like to support my future videos and, as, and subscribe if you're new. And as always, I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace out, folks.